Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Becca, Sania, and Maria here. Today we'll be teaching you how to use some basic and advanced tools in Classen. We'll also explain the difference between EDB and EDT files and how to create EDB and EDT files as quickly as possible using as many free resources as possible. Explaining everything in detail is a bit time consuming, so even if we don't mention some things, you will still be able to see them on the screen throughout the video, so pay close attention, okay? Let's start from the very beginning. When you enter the classroom or the Blackboard editor, you can see that the screen is divided into two parts. The top part is a stage and the bottom part is the interactive Blackboard. The stage is where you can find the video feeds. The interactive Blackboard is our main focus today. Now, there are loads of tools you can use here. You can find them on the far right side of the classroom. Those are click, select and move, paintbrush, text box, screenshot, delete, laser pointer, chat, cloud desk, teaching tools, roster. There's one more tool which is available only during the actual lessons and it's used for taking notes. We can see it right now. The first eight tools are actually very simple and you can just use them intuitively. Next is the cloud disk. When you open it, you can see three tabs. You can find the book lesson materials in the authorized resources. My Cloud Disk is where you can upload your own files, including pictures, PowerPoint presentations, PDFs, MP3s, and so on. The next set of tools is called the Teaching Tools, and there are a few very important tools here. The first one is Load Image. By clicking here, you can upload any picture from your computer directly onto the backboard. It's an important tool because you cannot drag and drop a file from some folder onto the blackboard. However, you don't have to download all of the pictures that you plan to use to your computer and then use teaching tools in load image. A somewhat easier way to upload a picture is to copy and paste pictures from the browser or some PowerPoint presentation onto the blackboard. Note that PNG files will lose their transparency this way. Now, let's go back a bit and let's try selecting Select and Move. With this tool, you can move, rotate and resize whatever image you've chosen. In order to rotate, you need to press and hold Control, then hover over the corner of the picture. You can see that the cursor has changed to a circular tool. Drag the rotation handle to the left or to the right to rotate the picture. Select and Move tool can also allow us to select multiple images. We can also lock any picture into a certain position, so we wouldn't be able to move it later on or lock the size of the picture, so we wouldn't be able to resize it. Please note that you can only move the pictures on the blackboard, not the pictures in the PowerPoint presentations from your cloud. There's also no way to add a picture into PDF or PPT files you've opened from your cloud disk unless, unless you take a screenshot of something and then use Ctrl X and Ctrl V. Now, back to our story. Why is manipulating sizes and location of images so important? And what exactly do EDB files have to do with both? Well, let's get into that. EDB files are something that can only be opened in Classen. We'll show you a selection of EDB files to help you understand what EDB files actually are. We'll try creating an EDB file afterwards. Note that the students don't have as many tools as teachers do. In fact, once you give your students the authority to use the tools, this is what they'll be able to see. Authorization can be found under the student's video feed. Before you design any games or extensions, you have to know the limits of what your students can do, and you might also need to teach them how to use some tools. You can open EDB files at any time during the class. 
You can also simply delete everything by pressing Ctrl N. EDB files are a wonderful way to engage your students. Now, in order to create an EDB file, we'll need to load some pictures onto our Blackboard. You can find a lot of royalty-free pictures online on websites like www.cleanpng.com or www.subpng.com. If you feel like playing a board game with your student, you can search for it on www.vecteasy.com. Upload the picture of pictures into your blackboard and voila! Easy peasy lemon squeezy! <laughs> Once you've locked, pre-sized, rotated, copy-pasted and arranged everything you wanted to arrange, you'll need to save your file. You can do this by selecting Teaching Tools and Save Blackboard Writing. You can choose between saving the file to your local computer or your cloud disk. At the very beginning of this video, we mentioned EDT files. When you enter the classroom, you normally have a preloaded background, as you can see here. In the Blackboard Editor, however, everything is in a dark shade of grey. To make things more interesting, you can create something called an EDT file. You need to follow a few steps in order to create this type of files. Find a picture with 1280 by 720 resolution or try googling for change picture resolution online to edit the pictures you like. Second, change the file extension from JPEG or PNG or whatever to EDT. If it doesn't work, try changing the extension to EDB first and then EDT. Upload the file to your cloud disk. That's it. Simple as that. We hope you found this video useful. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween and have a nice day. day.